So I think I, I feel the same way that there are using doublets and triplets, combination of all these agents, we have number of lines of treatments. We now go routinely to six and seven and eight lines of treatments. Transplant still plays a role in the younger patient population, not so much in older patient population. But we know that uh, patients eventually relapse and they eventually unfortunately die from myeloma. We still don't have that proverbial curve, flat curve that says some patients are cured. So that brings about the need for still doing more thing. And that's, an, that's why you and I to keep working in the lab and in the clinic to find new targets, new drugs, and, and various other options that we can come up with. And so one of the good target, as we now know, is BCMA. Um, so can you, what do you think uh, about it? So where the BCMA is located, what it may be doing it, signaling wise, and et cetera. It's um, uh, where else it is expressed or why it would be a good target to go after. So uh, again, you know, you have done a lot of work in this field. Uh, BCMA stands for B cell maturation antigen, as we know, um, and it is a part of the family of uh, proteins uh, and uh, for the TNF receptor superfamily. And basically, APRO, TASI, BAF, BCMA, they all interact to, to pro provide survival signals to myeloma cells and to have long-lived plasma cells, even in the normal host, you need a BCMA signaling. Um, so it is as preferentially expressed, uh, again, as you very well know, in um, mature B cells and plasma cells. And the elimination of BCMA uh, basically leads to depletion of no, even normal plasma cells. So, so I think that's, that's exactly why it's been one of our newer favorite targets. Right. And, and uh, we are utilizing because the toxicity would be minimal. It's not expressed on other tissue. Normal plasma cell, which we can li not live without, but... Traditionally, it's a low-functioning cells. Right. And you can supplement with IVIG if there's hypogammaglobulin. Perfectly, yeah. So I think because of that, I think we have all great interest and a lot of other companies have interest in it. And so a number of BCMA targeting therapies have been utilized, right? Exactly. I mean, do you want to tell uh, what those are from CAR-T to other applications of BCMA targeting agents? So um, again, at this meeting and with, 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 at the International Myeloma Workshop, we saw a number of agents that are coming out. Um, so one of the agents that's probably very close to approval is the antibody drug conjugate. Um, it, it's just a, it had a GSK number, but now we can refer it to by its potential uh, name, belantamab. And this agent, again, is, uses a BCMA antibody in conjugation with a, a toxin called mafodotin, which takes the mafodotin toxin to the surface of the plasma cells and then kills them. Um, then the agents that are in development include chimeric antigen receptor T cells or T cells, CAR T cells, uh, which uh, a plethora of companies literally are working on and with a variety of viral vectors, a variety of technologies, including CRISPR. And then we have agents which are uh, dual bodies, bites, T cell engagers, or a core class of drugs which are specially designed antibodies that at one end bind to BCMA and the other end bind to a T cell um, uh, surface molecule.